Hey guys, what's going on? Back on the Feed the Beast mod pack here, doing some farming. Very exciting stuff here. This is what everyone wants to see right here. Just man and his pickaxe farming up some coal. Yep. Exciting stuff. Wanted to make sure I showed you this. Nah, I'm just kidding. What I wanted to show you was that. Ta-da! There's walls now. And actually, I should really put this up so I can grab the other stuff. Um, I spent a lot of time the last couple days actually building a structure to this stuff. Let me dump this stuff off here real quick. Oh, so got the other stuff I'm going to show you here and what we're going to do today. Um, what we are, well, rather what we're going to do is we are going to um, get some more resources. I really need some more resources. Um to do some of the bigger stuff. I don't necessarily need like a lot of minerals or coals or stuff like that. I just need a lot of random stuff. And I'm kind of tired of going out mining. I went out and mined a whole ton of stuff using my hammer here. And my pickaxe went down and made uh, a, lots of tunnels and stuff. <laughs> down near bedrock because uh, I found out they changed the wrath lamp actually I, well let me let me back up um, built some walls up so I could actually build some curly built a little sissy bar here uh, so no, no mobs would come up the stairways and get me so I built the abyssal stone walls along with the damn it along with the clear glass uh, see-through panes with the tinker's construct uh, and then I also built this grand marble staircase here um, not sure how I like it, uh, but I think it turned out pretty well, I think. Um, this is going into a second floor area that is going to primarily be just for decoration and secondary stuff. Uh, move my enchanting table and whatnot up here. Um, and these are all going to be the bookcases. I, I need to figure out a good, better layout for the enchanting table here. I don't like the way this looks. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it here or just redesign the where it's going. But, yeah. I don't really like the way this looks. But it's going up here somewhere. I'm also going to put, um, I don't know, maybe Thomcraft up here. Maybe, maybe some other miscellaneous things. Um, but yeah, second floor, and then I'm going to have like a ceiling, high ceiling of some sort up here. I haven't finished it. As you can tell, I got lots of... Uh, Lots of glass yet to get. I smell. I took a. I'm not sure. I think there's a better way to get the glass than I'm, what I'm currently doing. I'm just melting down the glass in here and clicking it out onto this basin one by one. I think I can put like a redstone clock on here or something. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of boring because, as you can see, I got a. It takes quite a bit, a lot of glass here. So the other stuff that I've done is. Instead of having the AE system there, um, which I was going to, well, I'm still going to put it there. I just haven't run the wires over there yet. Um, but it was just draining too much power constantly off of that little furnace, and it was taking up all my charcoal. So I moved it over here. So since I had this guy uh, doing a pretty good job, this thing actually filled up completely with ink sacks. Um, since I wasn't using this at all, and I think, well, I can put it to good use. I will put it on a AE system. So I moved it back here in this little corner for now. Hello. And I also, also turned in my access terminal into a crafting terminal so I could craft with it. Uh, still got the two drives, and I also built a assembly table so I could use that. Not currently connected, so it's not taking up power, but I wanted to build it because I got something to show you. Um, last thing before we get started is I wanted another area to store fluids as you can see this little guy right here ender tank where is it going it goes down here into the basement got another extended the floor design down here and put a little stone design basement here for the floor uh, for the basement area let me know what you think on that and then I got those guys 
along with the little base pedal still here. This is a steel tank, currently empty. Uh, 4,000 buckets, I guess, is that? Is that right? 4,000 buckets? Something like that. Uh, this is going to be for lava once I get the um, stuff going to get lava for that. This is the biofuel tank, as you can see there in the description. I got 37,000 buckets currently. So, yeah. Is that right? 37,000? 3,700 maybe? I don't know. 30, 37,000 millibuckets. Good enough. So, you can see how that's draining in there. That's going to be a nice little source of fuel right there. Anyway, that'll be for later because um, I want to get both the biofuel and the lava tanks filled up before I go full bore on powering and whatnot. Um, probably we'll move squids somewhere because I don't like it being here. It was kind of temporary while I had everything open, just not sure where to put it yet. So we'll do that. Um, what we're going to do is, let me show you what I got. I got a lot of charcoal on me. So we're going to power something with that. But what are we going to power? We're going to power this guy. Uh, and that's why I needed the, primarily needed the um, assembly table was to make it. Uh, to make this guy, you need the original quarry plus the diamond stone chipsets, the pulsating chipset, some pipe wire, and a chest. Not that bad. Although it takes a pretty good amount of time. I think it took like a half hour or maybe even an hour to make that with just the three lasers. So pretty, pretty long time. Uh, I also got uh, four of these marker pluses to do stuff. Oh, I just realized something I need. I need a redstone signal. Uh, take two of those. And I'm powering it. I'm not concerned about f speed. So I'm going to use my old steam dynamo. Uh, Dynamo, yeah. Uh, along with some coal and another, I built another aqueous accumulator, some water and chest and some stuff. I'm gonna dump all. I got transport pipes here. I'm gonna dump all the cobblestone, sand, gravel, other junk like that out. So into into the void pipe that I don't want. Um, let me take stuff I won't maybe won't be able to get. I won't maybe not run into gravel and I might not run into sand. I can I can always get dirt and cobblestone out there. So I'm gonna try and find a location to build a hole. Whoa, hello lag. Um not sure where to go here. I think let's see, where do I wanna go? I think I'll go. I think I'll go that way. So I'm going to find a relatively flat location to build my quarry. I'm not going to build it too insane since that, this is my single player world. I don't necessarily want to big, big holes all over the place, but then again, it's just me for now. I'll talk about that at the end of the episode. Uh, so I'll be right back once I find a location. So look what we have here. Just flying along and found a friendly dungeon, Domecraft or whatever this is. What do we got? Ooh, ooh, I want that, and I kind of want that, and that's cool, and that's cool. I'll take you, and um, I'll come back for you. Cool. Anyway, saw that in the distance, thought I'd show you guys. Be right back. So here we are, not too far away. God, I don't see anything. Set that landmass way over there, and that one way over there. So we got our marker plus down. Flip the lever. Hmm. That's not what I was expecting. Huh. Oh. Okay. That was weird. Alright, so... Let's go over here. Let's see, where should we stop this thing? Let's see, let's go ahead and stop you. Um, hello, chunk load error. 
go ahead and put you here. And put you there. And I want to see where these guys go. I want it somewhere over here. Probably on this landmass. Yeah. <laughs> this is so, so thrilling, I know. But I want to show you the capability of this thing. I want to do something pretty crazy. I don't think this is the max it can do. Um, I think it, it can actually go quite a bit bigger. Um, I think I had mentioned that it can go something like 200 and something. 256 or something like that. I don't know, something crazy like that. So yeah, this is, let's see, what are we at? We're at 430, 434. I think the normal size was 64. So we should hit that at, say, 70. Oh, past the 64. So there's one quarry. And let's see if we get down to the 10s. Yep, and here's another quarry. So yeah, we're at about two quarry size. So we're doing about four qu regular quarries at once here. Not bad. Did I want to take that off? Let me put that back down. Oh, probably because that one's on down there. Um, yeah, I'll go turn this one off. Should have already turned this one off. Oh well. Then I'll show you how we're going to power this thing. Sorry for speaking kind of softly too. Um, wife's in the other room watching TV, so I'm being kind of quiet here. And there we go. Oh, I did that again. There we go. And ta-da! I don't know if it's supposed to be black like that. Ah, there it goes. There it turns red. All right. That's what I want to see. And my jetpack's at seven, so I'm not going to have enough fuel to get back. Yeah, oh yeah, I found another one of those trees along with a slime island floating in above. It actually cut off the whole tree. thought that was kind of weird. All right, so. Ding. Hello. I can't even, this is how big this quarry is. I can't even see the end of it, barely. That's how insane this is. All right, so I'm going to need a little bit of dirt as a platform. Shoot, I'm going to grab these here. And put you right there. There. There and there. And, and there and there. Don't really need that much, but oh well. And, well, I'm going to go ahead and set some of this up so I can get some inventory room. So I'm going to put you there. Oh, shoot. And I don't have my wrench. Oh, well, I can fix that later. Um, I'll go right there. And... you there and one cool thing I can just put you there and you right there and put you there like like that so now you should have water yep oh how'd that happen um, yeah, let me uh, go get my wrench and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with my hammer and it's nighttime, not the greatest. Wait a minute, I thought this would... What 
am I doing wrong? Do I need like a power thing? Can this not power that directly? Oh, all right. I will be right back again. All right, back and try to conserve a lot of jetpack fuel on my way over. Um, give me you, give me you, and do that and like that. Aha! Here we go. That means I gotta move you. That should be fine. Go like this, like that, like that. Um, oh, well, that's probably. Oh, yeah, that's better anyway. Uh, like that, uh, like that, like that. Let's see, green. We are going to send gravel, sand, um, dirt, and cobble. Give me cobble. Come on. There we are. Now, I know there's something you can do with these things. I'm pretty sure you can, I saw somewhere, and the reason why I wanted to do this, although this is gonna be like a trial, I think when I do an actual one in the Miscraft world, um, you can actually enchant these things with a pick uh, using the enchant mover. Um, seems kind of ridiculous and overpowering, but yeah, why not? Supposedly you're using the enchant mover, you can put the, um, Enchants undo. You can use the like a uh, like a fortune three pick for example. You put the fortune three pick in the enchant mover, then put the quarry on the uh, quarry plus on the other side, and you can put you can enchant your quarry with like fortune three, so that when it mines stuff, it gets you know it uses the pick's qualities, which is pretty cool. But hopefully, I won't need that with the humongous quarry. Yeah, that's my hope. So, sending all those things into the void. Everything else into the ender chest. Um, need to drop off the coal, or rather charcoal. It's going to power this thing. And give it some of that. And, yep, there it goes. And here it goes. It's a going. Now this is probably going to take a while to uh, to get going, so I'm going to let it finish its thing, and once it gets started, I will be right back with you guys. And here we are. It's built, and there goes the massive arm. Let me see if I can catch up to it here. Looks like it's going to start over here. somewhere this is one big quarry yep there it goes getting some of the sand awesome now I need to check the ender chest to make sure it's not depositing it in there I'm gonna deposit my sand and gravel and there, make sure it's going out to the void and not into the ender chest. Because otherwise I will have a probably a very overloaded AE system very quickly if it's going into my ender chest. Oh, I just realized. Um, I can't put stuff in the ender chest. If I do, it'll go right to the AE system. And I can't really tell with just one pipe on here if it's going into the void or not. I'll have to look at my AE system to tell that. Hmm. Anyway, this should probably be fine. This will keep the chunk loaded, uh, but only when I'm online and playing. So if I, I can, I'll, with be, me being back at the base, I can always check and, um, you know, if I'm getting close to storage, I can always like come back out here and be like, eh, I need to stop it. So I'm going to go back to the base and give it a look-see, and I'll return with you when I get back. 
All right, guys, back at the base, and let's check it. Um, um, I have no power. Well, that's, how is that possible? I am out of power. I have no steam. I got biofuel going into here, right? Yeah, water, yeah. 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 So what gives? It's taking too much. Now this was running without any problem. That thing completely drained. What? What's going on? It's like it's all going into here. Which is sort of okay, I guess. There, let me block that off. Let me send it all into here for the time being. Yeah, I need to see what's in here. I'll fix that later. Anyway, we have one cobblestone. Any sand? Two sandstone. Ooh. Well, I don't have any sand. So the proof, the very fact that I have sandstone and not sand means that it's working, because it's sending all the sand into the void, and I should have more, more sand. Um, so that's fine. I can use sandstone for something, maybe. I don't know. I can pulverize it if I need sand for glass or whatnot, which I'm gonna need because I need to smelt that down. Cobblestone, no dirt. So it looks like it's working good deal. I'm gonna leave that like that. Yeah. That needs to charge. Oh, I wonder if it was because I, I, I left the chunk. This thing didn't get enough power, maybe. This thing has plenty of power to run you. I really need to fix the power, which is why I'm going to get lava, because I think lava will help out tremendously. Um, one of the things I was reading was on the different pumps, and I got one of, um, I'm going to make what's called, not a regular pump, but a endothermic pump. And this little guy, instead of, uh, it's supposed to be a lot better for lag, um, I, I used uh, regular pumps on my previous server, and it creates like these big, I don't know, it, 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 you know like when you take a, you like a block out of water, it kind of like flows down, and you have to like take out the source block, and it creates a lot of lag because the things are updating constantly. I don't know how to phrase it, but supposedly an endothermic pump puts down like like it blocks it or it updates it or puts down like stone or something like that so you it's supposed to be and it does something so it's supposed to be like really low, low lag so i'm all fun i'm all for low lag because i'm this single player world is basically a test bed for when i get when it gets moved to the server which um i guess i'll go ahead and talk talk about now uh since the monster pack is in um beta right now the plan is for me to move this to a server series uh, with my wife and some of our other friends so that we can all join in on playing FTB. Um, they've kind of all taken a hiatus uh, since the Unleashed world was kind of complete. We kind of did what, uh, kind of finished everything that was there. Uh, so now we're going to move on to Monster, which has better and bigger things. Um, no, I shouldn't say better because every pack's different. So not everything better because maybe you like Magic Farm. Maybe you like Horizons. Maybe you like Monster. I'm glad you're watching my series. Um, so anyway, I, I built the stuff for this. Um, 
didn't actually need the water bucket since I had an ocean. Uh, so this should be everything I need, I think. Yeah, to build one of those guys. And then I'll have to build the uh, magmatic dy uh, dynamos to use that. And also a couple more uh, ender tanks and whatnot to fill. So I'll probably be doing that, going to the nether and setting that up in the next episode maybe. Because I want to get that lava tank filled with 4 million millibuckets worth of lava goodness. And then I can use the magmatic dy dynamos to fill up some ender... Not, no, not ender. Some energy cells. Yes. 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 Um, so yeah. Oh, there's other, one other thing I want to show you. Um, that, well, do I need that? No, I don't. If you can kind of tell here, it's brighter than it usually is over here. Right? What's missing? Is the tree gone? The tree is gone. Yeah, I got kind of sick of it. And since I use, I have my built a lumber axe, I decided to chop it down. So I went and started chopping it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my jetpack here. So I started chopping at the bottom where, you know, the stuff was at, where, I, where I had started out on the first episode and it just kept on, you know, making like big old cuts out of it. I'm like, oh man, this is going to suck. So I started chopping around and then I flew up like, well, let me just go ahead and up to the top and I'll start chopping there. Well, I went up to like the mid section of the sequoia and did a little chop and then boom, it like everything from the top fell down. It was like raining wood on me like crazy. I'm like, that's amusing. So I quickly gathered up all the wood I could and dumped it here. So yeah, here's redwood heart of the tree. I got dumped a bunch of those here, there, there, everywhere. Anywhere I could put a bunch of wood. Um, all that charcoal we saw, that was from the tree. Um, yep, there's more of it. Um, I think I got some in here. 41... I got some of that yet that I haven't uh, done anything with somewhere, I think. Yeah, some there. Um, I thought I had a bunch of it sitting somewhere. Because there was quite a bit of it. Huh. I thought I had a bunch of... I thought I had, had like a wood chest somewhere. Did I get rid of it? No, I wouldn't get rid of it. Would I? Maybe. No. Hmm. Maybe I did. Certainly possible. And if I did, no big deal, because I found another one over there by where I set up the quarry. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had for you guys today. Um, let me know what you think about my updated base design here. Um, I'm probably going to continue this design or make it a little bit different in the server world. Uh, expand it out for bigger things because there'll be many of us playing and we'll need a little bit more, more room because um, I'm expecting that when the monster pack goes f regular release that it will include Benny's mod uh, for the bees, which my wife really wants to get into, and I don't really... And bees take a while to do it right um, with all the machines and all that kind of stuff, so we need space for that, so um, I won't, probably won't do that in this series. I'll do that in the server series. Um, and I want to do... She's, she wants to do the farming and the bees and all that kind of stuff, so I think she'll have a lot of fun with the magical crops um, and the bees and all that kind of stuff while I handle tech stuff and whatnot so we can uh it'll, hopefully it'll be a little bit more exciting uh hopefully we can get some of our friends back uh they might be a little busy with real life stuff i'm not sure but i think they want to start playing again um we were playing we were over there we we're actually just over at their house a week ago i think uh we were playing a, a really amusing game called cards against humanity i had seen a lot about it uh online and heard you know really amusing stuff uh, about it um if you don't know what it is it's if you've ever played apples to apples it's kind of like that except more disturbing which for my wife and me and my friends is a good thing 
because we are kind of crazy. And it's one of our finest qualities, we think. Yeah, just a little bit. Mwah. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think uh, about my little kludgy setup here. Yeah, I just said that. Um, hopefully this gets me some cool stuff. It's probably not going to get me anything for a while, considering the size of that quarry. Um, one of the things, you may ask how I'm lighting everything, and I can show you... Uh, here, let me use this. This? Yes. Those guys. It was one of my favorite light sources. But man, did they make these things hard to do now. If you look up the Wrath Lamp, which puts out a big power source, this guy, Wrath Igniter, you use that in the recipe, those used to be pretty easy to come by. You just create some dark iron, create a dark iron block, and use this on it. No, can't do that anymore. Dark iron ore is found near bedrock, only for Wrath Lamps. And you can't use the lighter on anything anymore. Going away. I guess it's getting changed. I'm not sure what mod this is. Oh, factorization. Going away. That sucks. So I'm guessing if this is going away, this is still going to be in there. So I'm guessing the recipe is going to change somehow. But in essence, dark getting dark iron really sucks. It took a very long time to get the wrath iron I needed for those three and those three and those two. It took me several hours of mining down on bedrock level to get uh, enough dark iron to uh, make those things. Yeah, kind of sucked. Kind of sucked big. So i just trying to think of alternative light sources. Uh, I think, what did I do? I think I used down here behind these guys. I used glowstone. Yeah. Just because I got them on behind all those little special patterned ones to give more light. And I think in my Unleashed world I use the Wrath Lamps, but in here I'm using Glowstone just because, well, number one, it's, it saved my sanity trying to mine on Bedrock level for getting Dark Iron. And number two, it's a basement. It's probably supposed to be darker. And it's a lot, a lot dingier. And in my Unleashed world, in my Unleashed world, I had uh, the white marble everywhere, and it was a, a lot brighter. Um, a little too bright for a basement, but this gives like a dark, dingy, dungeony feel to the basement with tanks. Although, when this thing fills with lava, that's going to be a hell of a light source, probably. Anyway, uh, nothing can spawn down here. There's plenty of light, and I also got light behind these guys. Glowstone. Right there. So that's actually the brightest area. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of my basement, my pillars, and everything. Uh, that's it for this episode. I will see you guys later. Bye.